Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the back of this. We have here, I've put a label on it, big calculator. This is another one of Billy Sassard's bloody normally terminal calculators. Not been doing very well, but this one looks gorgeous. Look at that. Can you guess what make it is? Yes, right. It's Radio Shack. No, it's Casio, of course. There was some debate recently about Radio Shack rebranding of Casio calculators. It was fascinating, man. But there you go, you can see this calculator is transparent and the reason is it's designed for putting on top of an overhead projector. How, how bloody marvellous is that? I think it's the first time I've ever seen one of these and in fact I'm looking and it obviously doesn't work. So the idea though is of this is sort of like you'd use it in a school or university or whatever to show somebody you know, you're doing all your calculating in front of an audience. So you just pop that. Do you remember those? Because people used to sort of write on top of the OHP with the old pens. You used to have a sheet of acetate and uh, you'd write, you know, cock or whatever you're writing. And um, everybody could see that. You might have the acetate as single sheets, which many of us did, or you have it on a roll, like a continuous roll. So you can imagine if you're doing a scientific type calculation that's great you're writing down all your lines and that but in a course where you actually can use a calculator sometimes oh it does work it yeah, that just works Billy this just works I'm guessing you sent this just as a curio just to sort of have a look see and it says calculator made of glass wow so we're just gonna go through this one and actually have a look at it for a change and kind of try to fix it although there is a little bit of a gouge in the back it's not let me just it feels more like plastic than glass, but let's let's. I'm going to roll with it. Um, right. So, how can we actually see this <laughs> without the benefit of a, a of a backlight? Well, you can probably just see very ghosty writing there. I'm going to hold it up so we can have a look at that ghosty writing. I'll just try to keep the shine off the screen. Um, eight, eight. Let's do all the eights. Ah, oh, there's something going on in the top left corner that I don't know what that bloody is. It's doing a weird. Um, sort of foreign notation? Is it an alpha mode? Yes, there is an alpha mode. Mode. So it actually does say stuff, and I'm guessing. Oh, Billy, it's a broken calculator, isn't it? Um, I'm going to zoom in so the boys and girls at home can see this subtlety of this brokenness. So when you push mode, it's saying things at the top, but some of the lines are missing in it. It's really hard to see that, but it is missing lines. You see that there? Yep, yep, yep. It's one row. It's missing one entire row. So if I put it into alpha mode, B, 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 B. So I'm typing the same thing over and over again several times. Oh, it's so hard to show you. But it, you can see just about. All the things look different because it, it isn't doing them right. It is bloody Brock. <sighs> okay, Billy, you screwed me again. Let's just do it. But just before I do, though, look at this. It's really cute. OH300W, and I'm going to keep scrolling it up just to show you. See at the bottom? Emulates Casio FX300W, FX85WA, a 911W, and a 911Z made in 1998 so it's, it's kind of cool that it says it emulates all those i'm guessing they all use the same thing so i'm just trying to have a, a look to see if there's any way feasible for us to actually take this apart to see if we can see what's going on i'm thinking not actually it's it doesn't look like it's using screws now you're saying what about these feet things i think i can see through the plastic and there doesn't appear to be a screw under these they're just these are literally just caps. If you look on the edge profile, and I'll show you, see, if you don't believe me, <laughs> focus. Now just rotate it gently. There's no screw in there at all. There's no screw in that, and there's definitely no screws anywhere else. So this is a laminated calculator. It's just all glue like a composite. So I wonder what would have happened to sort of cause it to break like that. I'm going to just put all B's on the screen and I'm just going to bend it now gen gently. I'm gently flexing it. Nothing. 
The calculator doesn't want to know. Tell you what though, it's a piece of plastic on the front and a piece of plastic on... Ah! Ah! Yes, I can see that now. RAM error, syntax error, as I'm sort of just even just flexing it slightly, it's coming up with all sorts of errors and it it does even sound a bit crunchy. I suspect it's it's just sort of delaminated itself. What a shame really, what a crying shame. Stokes Publishing Company, Stokes Publishing Company calculator made of glass. Overhead calculator is a trademark of SPC for its transparent projectable calculator. You can see there's a layer here that may be removable. Billy, I don't know what you want me to do with this. I'm really reluctant to try to remove this because I think it won't come off properly. And I think this is too nice an item. Oh, it does kind of want to come off. Yeah, it sort of does kind of want to come off, Billy. I'm going to just see if it kind of wants to come off a bit more. Yeah, sort of kind of does. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Don't kink it. Don't kink it. It's ruined forever if you kink it. That goes for many things in life. Oh, come on now. Let's do this thing. We're in it to win it. Let's have a look underneath. Oh! What it actually shows me, <laughs> if you really want to get at the guts of this, you have to take the front off it, and I'm not definitely not doing that, so I'm just going to keep with the back. I think we can get to some of the guts from the back, but the real guts are from the front. Oh, has it stuck itself back down? No! No, nah, not goodly. Not Reetly like. I'm going to treat myself one day to some sort of flat thing for lifting things. Come on now. Yes. Oh, it's scaring you, isn't it? It's the scaring me. The way it just sort of tears. Boom. Boosh. Wow. So those are the back. You can see there, they're the nuts for the screws that are clearly put in from the other side. So that is going to be one colossal colossal undertaking to try to try to do that and I'm, I'm definitely not because that's going to ruin it I'm telling you that'll definitely ruin it but this does give me the ability to touch up the old uh, ribbony things to some degree not, not a massive degree but definitely a bit here yeah and actually that's the screen glass right there so we can see if manipulating that and I'm pushing it just gently in places will cause the screen to change. And it isn't, you know, it really isn't. Let's flip it around again, turn it on. So I'm gonna do all the Bs, no, all the As. As are coming up. Oh, that's not Bs, it's just eights and sevens and stuff. So when I'm doing that, the whole top row should be eights. And that's instead I'm getting basically junk. Let's try that again. Yeah, so that's, you can't see it again, but it's, it, trust me, that's all junk. Nah. I don't rightly know. I think that's my answer at this point. You've got diode there and a resistor in series. Looks like a couple of interesting resistors, but there's nothing really much going on with this. There's no gunk, there's no funk. It looks like a really nice, um, nicely kept piece, really. It's just... Uh, succumb to age probably and I can't you know I'm pushing on that PCB and straining at the sort of weird viewing angles required to see what's going on with that screen but yeah it's just nothing so alas 
alas again another fail i think i think billy you've um you've really you've done me up like a right kipper ain't you with this lot every every one is a is a bagger a real bagger to try to fix not cooperating in the slightest at all so we'll get that back on there you bastard thing there we go please feel free to comment down below do you have an educator of your own or have you used an educator the world's only patented transparent calculator for LHP projectors. Comment down below, should like, share, subscribe. And as ever, my friends, thank you for watching.